the flyest in the room, mask around. I'm a G flying through the city, hitting high speeds. Hey, what's on, buddy? I'm back here with another video. Uh, I know I was at MIA for, for a couple weeks, so I want to apologize for that. But I've been trying to, you know, kind of focus on myself a little bit and, and try and progress in where I want to be as a coach. Um, that being. I'm trying to get back into um, a program to get my bachelor's degree so I can continue to chase my dream of being a college football coach. Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but my dream has always been a college offensive coordinator, um, kind of get my own system and run it. So that's the, that's the biggest thing. That's why I've been, you know, kind of MIA for, for a couple weeks. I've been trying to get my um, student loans figured out. I've been trying to, you know, do a lot of a lot of things to put me in, a, in the best position possible so I can I can progress but I promise you guys all 10 tips so I'm gonna give you guys all 10 tips today's gonna be tip number four and we're back guys how you guys feel I hope you guys are having a good day I hope all my subscribers are having a good day still need a hundred to get those beats headphones out I'm not leaving you guys hanging on that um, I might just do it after 85 subscribers I don't know um, kind of want to get these out kind of don't want to hold that over my head any longer you know uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. So today is tip number four. Tip number four is going to be always praise, never blame the offensive line. This should be a given, but a lot of quarterbacks, especially young quarterbacks, don't really understand this. Um, if you've never played the offensive any position in the offensive line, uh, then you really don't understand, you know, the struggles that they go through um, on a day-to-day -day basis and. You know, when they're not getting recognized as much as they should, you know, they're the reason you're in the newspapers. They're the reason that, that you can do, I mean, what you do. Um, the product of a good quarterback uh, heavily relies on the offensive line. And, you know, I've seen plenty of cases where quarterbacks are, are very arrogant to the offensive linemen. And I, I really don't get that. I don't understand that at all. But, you know, it happens. And, you know, the offensive line, I've seen, you know, plenty of times where they want to, you know, take a play off to kind of show the quarterback, you know, they protect you. And, you know, they're in the they're in the trenches and um, they're doing the dirty work just so keep you clean. Um, and go appreciate, appreciate your offensive line. Uh, if you're a quarterback in high school, college, go take your offensive line out for dinner um, once because I'm sure they'll run the tab up pretty good. But yeah, always you know be appreciative of your offensive linemen because because they don't get any of the publicity that you get. They don't get the newspaper articles that you get. They don't get the interviews that you guys get. Um, and 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 you know they accept their role, which is you know huge because everybody wants to touch the ball. But the cliff notes on this is when your offensive line does something good, you praise them. You praise them as much as you can. When you're in it, when you're in an interview, you praise your offensive linemen. I remember that was the go-to every single time that uh, I was interviewed or any of my quarterbacks were interviewed. They always praised the offensive linemen because they knew that they were the ones that were helping them be successful. And even if you know something's very evident that was the offensive lineman's fault, you, you never want to get down on your offensive lineman because that's who's protecting you. That's all you got. Um, you know, lift them, lift them up when they're down, and and praise them when they do good and. Um, they'll take care of you, I promise. So I hope you guys aren't too mad at me for not posting. Uh, I'm gonna be posting more consistently uh, and take you through the, the journey of, of what I'm doing, take you through uh, what I'm gonna be doing for, for school coming up and hopefully get my bachelor's and uh, get this thing rolling. I know we're all chasing dreams, but I know you guys are as well. Um, so just don't give up on that because uh, I know I won't. So I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Hope you guys share this video. Do your thing. Um, you know, we're in this together. All right. I'm out of here. See you guys.